Moving further afield, in the lead-up to Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell's speech, gold prices are on track for a weekly decline after dropping from their peak. The slight increase in gold prices on Friday was not enough to offset the overall decrease this week, influenced by a stronger dollar and rising treasury yields. Additionally, spot gold rose by 0.2% to $2,488.74 per ounce, while U.S. gold futures gained 0.3% to $2,524.30. Now, despite reaching a record high earlier in the week, gold has fallen by nearly 1% due to the strengthening dollar and higher U.S. 10-year yields following unexpected unemployment rate data. Investment analyst Carl Kutzer provides additional insights into these market movements. The gold price has been on an upward tear recently, but it did come down ever so slightly during today's trading session. Gold traded below the magical $2,500 per troy ounce. What makes this level significant is that a gold bar weighs 400 troy ounces, and at a price of $2,500 per troy ounce, a gold bar would cost exactly $1 million US dollars. After reaching an all-time high of 2,531.60 cents on Tuesday, bullion has dropped nearly 1% this week. This decline is attributed to a rise in the dollar index and benchmark 10-year yields in the US, triggered by an unexpected increase in the unemployment rate to 4.3%, which makes it more likely that the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates at their September meeting. To explain this in a bit more detail, when buying hard commodities like gold, you are giving up the opportunity cost of earning interest on money in the bank. When interest rates come down, holding gold becomes relatively more attractive because gold also has inflation hedging characteristics and it performs well in times of uncertainty.